As far as spelling, because the brothers have a lot of issues. I'm through talking to him. Well, I ain't talked to him in nine months. I imagine how you go to work with this animosity every day. That's awful. Why have you become such a lady? No, no, we don't need to hear all that stuff. You're a piece of This is a family-owned business, okay? There's Guy. is the son that's running it. He's the manager. There's Helen, Guy's mom, and Charlie. Charlie is the stepdad. There's Alex, the sister. Her and her brother love to go at it in front of customers, in front of anybody. I've had this place under surveillance now for a few days. Watch. You know, she's outside smoking in the middle of an order. He's not totally wrong. Right. No, oh, no, no, not at all. You're on the floor, and, then they get, and the, I, the caveat is you're smoking cigarettes. Just a slap in the face, dude. What? It's a slap in the face. Dude, I wasn't even trying to... I don't care. She's crying. She's, like, attacking her. You're out there on the floor, though, what? Just hang out. Smoking a cigarette. Everybody else is working. Stop up. Get on your game. Smoking on the cigarette. Get out of here. I don't give a what Bob says. Don't be nothing like Ay, ay, ay. That's a dysfunctional family. So you know, guys, we're in the South. So I got two locals. They grew up here. They're going to give us a good Southern local perspective of what's going on here. Welcome to character. Hey, how you doing? What's up with the um, the baseball the baseball outfit? It's my character costume. All right. Y'all like it? You know, they're calling this place characters. Right. But they're not characters. They walk, talk, and act like themselves. That's just perfect. They don't get into it. And the customer's not sure. A Tom Collins? Yeah, and I'm gonna have a whiskey sour. Tom Collins and a whiskey sour. Two pretty simple drinks. On that drink, you said Tom Palmer, right? Tom Collins. Tom Collins? Yeah. Okay. She's thinking of an Arnold Palmer, which is an iced tea and lemonade. She's nowhere near the right drink. Are you making that or? There's our bartender, Whitney. Look at how slow she is. At the same time, most of these people that are in here drinking, it seems like they're drinking beer. It's a beer bar. That's yeah. the crowd they're drawing now. And so they're not making really great profit margins on that. Right. These are like Coney Island hot dogs here. I kind of was hoping they'd have more like Southern. You know, guys, this is the South. You have to cater sure. to the marketplace that you're in. Whiskey sour, okay. Tom Collins. What can I get for y'all? Um, I'm going to do the uh, the ribeye steak here. I'm going to do the baby back ribs. Yeah. You guys, two sides of that. Oh, where are the... We have, um... Um... The, 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 there's about everything that you can think of. Um, she has no idea where the sides are. Bit of a glitch. Do you have anything southern on the menu, or...? The smothered chicken, is that southern? How long has she worked here? Dude, we're at 86 in the ribeye. You know what? We're at we're at a ribeye right now. Get out of town. I'm just gonna go with the, the big uh, the you guy's guys big, big dog. Okay. So we went from ordering an entree and having a, a, a larger check to now we're just gonna get a little hot dog. Right? Yeah, first day in a job today, huh? You know, look at the board, man. All right. I mean I won't let it happen again, all right. whatever. I'm bad. Nope. She just dropped, she's, she's pissed. Something. You're all jittery. I'm what sorry. You, like relax. Dude. Oh, easy, easy with the mouth. Dude, like just chill. Let's go. Bicker, bicker, bicker. Yeah. Dude, every thing I do. I want you to get your head out of your ass. Is what I want you to do. Oh wow. Right, guys, big dog right here. Oh my god. Oh boy, let's see how this food's gonna be. This sauce is like too sweet. She's talking about the sauce being sweet. The true North Carolina barbecue sauce is, is vinegar. Yeah. It's vinegar based. More water, too? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Bringing, bringing the old glass back to the, yeah. to the water. He's looking for her. Get it fresh, cop. Oh, I'm sorry. Just keep getting on me about everything, dude. I know, because it's this. All right, I got you're, it. You're trying to prove yourself again, I right? understand I mean, that. We're, we're, this is the fourth time we've been back. Keep saying every five seconds. You're making mistakes. I'm not the one making the mistakes right now. Okay. <laughs> you laugh, though. Like, this is funny. You got to be higher and fire. Everything changes. Look at the frustration in this family. Look, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to mom. You guys deal with it. This is, this is, this is why I, I can't do it. Before we can begin to fix this bar, I gotta sit with this family. Yeah. I'm gonna go to work. I'll see you guys later. All right. See you in a bit. You wanna stay? Are you sure you don't want another drink? Come on, just one more, please. I'm John Taffer. How you doing, John? Nice, nice to meet you. Likewise. Hi. John. Good to meet you, Charlie. Charlie, pleasure. Nice to meet you. My wife, Helen. Helen? 
Hi, how are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. Is Alex here too? Someone call my name? I did. Hi. What's going on, man? I'm, I'm Alex. I'm John. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. you know why I'm here. So let's go sit and I want to talk to the four of you. Have a little family discussion for a couple minutes, okay? You guys are from where? Long Island. We're on Long Island. Suffolk County. I'm from Great Neck. I understand New York. I understand the attitudes that we have up there, but this is the South. It's a little different down. Sure. Oh. I'm a damn Yankee. That's right, you are. Had you ever been in a restaurant or bar business before? No. It was more of a, you know, a dream, obviously, with, with parents willing to help. So how much money did you guys put in? We got about 300. That's retirement and savings. We had a little of about fifty thousand dollars into this. Fifty thousand dollars for a young guy. That's a lot of money. Helen, why do you think this place is failing? Management has inexperience. Guy didn't step up as far as learning. I think it's a crock. Being a first-time business owner, I was overwhelmed. Families and businesses don't always work out very well. If he wasn't your stepson, would he be working here right now? No. Would you fire him? That's Are the customers happy? They're not here. I don't agree with that. I guarantee you, they come they're back? happy. Uh, absolutely they are. Where are they? Not here right now. Let me tell you what I saw tonight. The couple that ordered the ribeye that was 86, those are my spies. You went up to the table, they said you were an incredible sweetheart, but you don't know anything. She fails, and then you beat the out of her for it. That's how you see it? That's what I saw. You feel that he's being mean to you? Hard shell. I just want to just press the cruise control button and just hang out. No, I'll just get fired and I'll come back. That's that's disrespect to a family business. I try my best to do it the best I can. She doesn't have a clue what she's doing or what, what's going on. Have you trained her? There are things as far as training that probably slipped through the cracks, which probably shouldn't. You're keeping her weak by not training her. So I'm going to suggest that what's going on here is primarily your fault. Come on, We've been man. going like, through this a long time. You want your sister to work here? I don't know. We've had issues even before characters. Do me a favor. Switch seats. Yeah. Talk to him. What are you feeling? I'm feeling hurt a little bit. Because <laughs> I didn't, like, I tried to do my best. <laughs> I don't mean to let you down. Dad, this is a broken record. You're holding everything against this us. If I don't get this negative energy and this fighting out of this business guy, this place closes. So you got a choice. You push her away, you destroy the business, rip the family to shreds, or you figure out a way to pull her in. I can't say that this is just going to fix it overnight. Absolutely. It's not. I don't this, expect this... it to, but I want to become a team player, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to show you that I'm with this. You're going to run the straight now, and you're going to prove to him that you can do this. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll, I'll do anything to keep it going. I'm living in a 700-square-foot apartment right now with my kids staying in my room to sacrifice my dollars every month. I'm not ready to fail. you got to figure out how to make this work for everyone. You with me? So there's the owner. There's Betsy. Deputy worked the duck right. There's Stephanie, Betsy's sister. She works here as well. Jay, Betsy Hello. needs some wine. Oh! Jeff. What the f you? Listen. No, you. Hey guys, it's not even nine o'clock yet. They're drunk. Yeah. Oh yeah. Betsy is not running this bar responsibly. She needs to grow up and be a business person. I got sixty motorcycle guys <laughs> pulling up here <laughs> all at once. So let's see what they got. All right. Instant Look business. At that. Hey Betsy, look how many bikes just pulled in. I'm gonna work this side, she's working that side, and let's go. What do you have? They don't realize they're gonna keep coming. <laughs> this is like the clowns getting out of the little oh, car where they God. just keep coming. Somebody get me a as a bartender, this is when you turn it on. Yeah, oh, exactly. This is, this is when it kicks into the You see the money. What can yeah. I get you guys? What can I get for you? She's still sitting down. She doesn't understand it. Wow, there's Nothing. actually customers in my bar. What do I do now? What the hell? This thing looks like a buffet line. What's going on here? Holy You know, it's not unlike what sh the situation that would happen anyway when a giant biker group's riding the road, and they come in all at once, and they should be used to it and able to handle that. What do you want? What else? What do you need? Lady, I see for you some white. 
That was easily two and a half ounces of booze. There's no reason to overpour that much. That's crazy. Oh yeah, absolutely. As a bartender, you're supposed to serve one and a half ounces, and you're supposed to make sure that people drink responsibly. Oh my God. She didn't seem very happy about having a bunch She's of new miserable. Customers. She's inconvenienced by the whole thing. Yeah, so. sure. I got it. Shut up. Holy shit, it's like a truck stop. All right, who gains anything? There's the sister, Drunky McDrunkerton's back behind the bar now. And she's bringing it up, but still. Where's that going? I am. She, she is hammered. is annihilated. Yeah. Is She's too drunk to work. She can't pull it off. Yep. I, I got deep that. Breath, deep, deep breath. Deep breath. Bang. Bang. Just for you, I think. I've never been more excited or more about cheese puffs because they finally got some food. And everybody's sticking around. Oh. All right, go ahead. Put it in your mouth. Touch your fingers. Go very back in. I'm like speechless, John. Yeah. yeah, me too. You listen to me? Seth. No! F you! All right, Chef. Listen! Go. She's a train wreck. Uh, fine! F you! F you! Did you kiss your mother with that mouth? No, I f hate her. What did you come here for tonight? I came here for my sister. To what? I'm gonna help my sister raise. Do you realize she's losing 4200 a month and his bar is gone in three months? Yeah. But you're drunk, aren't you? Are you driving home tonight? Yeah. You're planning on getting into a car? Yeah. No, you're not. You're gonna be there. I'm not letting you get into a car when you're this drunk. Do you hear me? The beer's not even sitting in the six pack. It's just being because thrown in there. Drunk. How are you going to keep on giving me excuses when I sit here looking at it? it? All your beer is just Tell swirling into the ocean. I can't even talk to you. Breathe in this for me. Go ahead, all the way. You have a 0. .20. Legally intoxicated is a 0. .08. 0. .08 is legally intoxicated. And her sister, Betsy, was going to let her drive home. That's illegal. That, to me, is the epitome of irresponsibility. I stopped her. You are almost two and a half times past the legal intoxication. Can you work like this? Yes. Didn't your sister throw you out of the bar? No. You need to sober up and come talk to me when you're sober. I'm going to go behind the bar. That's smart. I think you're too drunk to be behind your own bar. You're drunk. You're the one that needs to get cut off. You need to step in that bar. You have enough money to make it three more months, correct? Absolutely. Is she helping you or is she burying you? Come on, ladies. What do you can't? You can't figure out what tab is what? Come on! While Jerry manages on the inside, his brother Dave and best friend Steve arrive with bar expert John Taffer to give this bar a chance at survival. So here we are. Oh, Banyans. Why'd you call me? When this first started, it was a very cooperative effort between the three of us. We worked together on everything. But gradually over time, Jerry has stopped listening to any input from either of us. Now it's basically Jerry's way or the highway. Come on, what the f So you went in for 40%? Yeah, Your that's brother great. went in for 40%? And you went in for 20 I got the 20%. Who primarily runs the bar? My brother, Jerry, runs in the bar. All right, let's have a shot. Let's have a shot, buddy. No. Come on! Okay. I'm really not. OK. <laughs> it's all about him. I got balls. <laughs> Are your balls that big? Hell no, they're bigger. <laughs> I'm not really a good shot, but you know what the hell yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's the loudest person in the room by far. He is. Her ass is in the way. Hey, can you get can you get that turd cutter out of my way? Can you possibly succeed? with him being this way? Not the way it is now, no. Running a bar drunk is dead wrong. Holy that was great. 
When you guys sit here and tell me that, you know, he this and he that, but you both together have the authority to stop that tomorrow. You could take control of the bank accounts tomorrow. That's what 60% of a business is. Good point. So the fact of the matter is, you're not in a submissive position to him. Sure. So he needs to see your anger. You pissed? Yes. Uh, How many times have you been pissed the last few months and held it back? Probably 50% of the time. Tonight you don't. <laughs> Tonight you let it go. How many times have you been pissed and held it back? Anytime I've seen him drinking in the bar. I've never liked it. No! Come on! Hello? Hello. Where's my bartender's at? We're bartending! Hello? Hello? Look at him screaming and yelling. Just kick that table. And just knock it down. No, kick that table. Out. No, 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 no. Don't bump that table. Go over there. Oh, I mean, it's like one of those things. So it's like. Oh my God, right now. Hey, Barbara, I know. I'm telling you, you just were in. No, I wasn't. I was over here. Bull I've oh. definitely seen it. Well, okay, here's what we do. We go inside, we talk to him, and we look at him and say, we own 60% of this business. I want the keys. Hostile takeover? Let's do it. A hostile takeover is when the majority owners of a company take the business away from the manager. Dave and Steve own 60% of this company. They're going to walk in, and they're going to relieve Jerry of his management duties. It was almost right in our fun bags. Damn! The number one responsibility of a bar manager is to keep your customers safe. You can't do that when you're drunk. All right, come on. Hi, Bob. Let's have you come talk to us for a minute? What's going on? Come on, come on over here. Stand right there. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? I've been better. You're a drunken fool. Can I sit With down? Their money. No, don't sit down. Stand up. It's good for you. All right. If you can stand, can you stand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm standing. It's not funny. <laughs> you're an embarrassment to Dave, you're an embarrassment to me, you're an embarrassment to the bar. You're making a fool of yourself. And you're disrespectful to your partners whose houses are on the line. We've talked about this many times. Are you not drinking in the bar, not yelling across the bar? Are we having a great time? This is not about a great time. This is about making money. Come on now, it's like, man, it's like we're we're having a great time. Everybody's in here. We're having a great time. That's what we thought we were gonna have when we bought this place. I haven't been having a great time. I've been sitting out in that vehicle watching you make an ass out of yourself. That is not fun to me. This is a hostile takeover. We're taking control. You're not running things anymore. Here's the law. They own 60% of the business. You give them their keys tonight, you walk out of here, come back tomorrow as a reasonable partner. The having a great time, John. Dean. His house is on the line. This isn't about your good time. This is bull You're the drunken fool. I think it's time for you to go home. It's over. You blew it. I'm going to leave you guys. Do not leave until you get the keys and the checkbook. Good night. Honestly, I didn't think Dave and Steve had it in them, but they did. They had the courage, they went in, and they completed a hostile takeover. It's bull no, it's the way it is. No, it's bull Where the have you guys been? I've been here busting my balls. This is bull Keys. It's bull That's enough. Get out now. You're done. Bull Who's here? Me. Not you, mother This bull Give me my teeth. Horn I'm always here every day. Yeah, we know that. My bull Come on, buddy. You my brother. Come on. Damn it. That's bull That's bull My old brother got dead. This horn Well, I'm surprised this place hasn't cleared out. Embarrassed to be associated with him right now. And uh, how he reacted was abysmal. That is just crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna come back and rob the place because they don't know how to lock it up. Come on, Jerry, this way. Gotta take you home. That's not fun, but it had to be done. If I die tomorrow, you ain't 
gonna have the account number. Put me in an ass. Pull up being an ass. I'm telling the truth. They don't even know how to turn the TV off. I guarantee I'll come here tomorrow morning and the big screen will still be on. Don't worry about it right now, okay? I'll take care of it. Yeah, whatever. That light bulb costs 299 bucks. Make sure they turn the TV off. Pull We're about 10 miles from the strip. We've seen 27,000 cars a day go down the street. The problem is, almost all of them are driving by this place and not seeing them. When you look at the front of this building, it's not motivating me. When you walk by a bar and restaurant, there should be something out there that says, I'm gonna go in for a great burger. There needs to be that call to action right front. Does that make sense, Bill? Yes, it does. So I want you to see something. There's my daughter. That's Kim. She does all the hiring and the firing. So she's responsible for it day to day. Yes, she is. Who's that? That's my grandson. Justin. Yeah. Got you did? Hi, Justin. I just didn't realize I was working, so it was a So it's awesome. Very good. How do you think of that attitude? That's Melody. So that's Justin's ex-girlfriend. Right. That's Jenna. So I know Jenna also is an ex-girlfriend. Yes. I want you to watch this. I have hooked up with staff that currently work here. Out of 10 women, Justin's probably slept with eight out of 10 women. Do you ever worry Jack. about a sexual harassment lawsuit or something? Because this stuff happens, Bill. And it's a nightmare. Sometimes these kids need a swift kick in the butt. <laughs> That's Lacey right there. Talk to me about Lacey. What is her role in it? She is the bar manager. Does she have a passion for the business, you think? She means well. She just, maybe she hasn't had the right direction. Does she respect your money? Or do you think she take it for granted? I don't know. To this family, this is a free ride. They're being disrespectful to their grandfather's investment. In addition, I have my Bevintel reports that show me that there are thieves among us. And I'm going to figure out who the hell they are. So there are my spies, they're blue collar workers, and they're hospitality people. They know the hospitality business. Marguerite and the Rocks? Okay. And uh, Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. Please. Got it. Can you make him a Marguerite on the Rocks? Yeah. To make you make all the fun drinks? Well, this is the only one I really kind of know how to make. Wow. She doesn't even know how to make the number one drink in America. Go, man. Thanks, bro. Took him three minutes to make a Bloody Mary and a margarita between two bartenders. Is that what you envisioned when you wrote a check for $4 million, Bill? So there's Ken. He's our lead cook. Yeah, he's a good guy. I mean, the BLT's not bad. Yeah. The food isn't bad, but yet your numbers keep going down. Yeah. <laughs> this is bull Tastes like club soda. Another beer is flat. This is pissing me off. The only thing that you're in business for when you're bartending is for your guest. How is he going to make this business work with that attitude? Yeah. Now, the problem is Kim sits there and watches it. She watches it, and they take advantage of her. Make sure you sick. I hate people. Mm. I mean, honestly, like, I dread coming to work. I'm so happy when I leave. It's the happiest part of my day is leaving. <laughs> so he doesn't want to be here. Doesn't want to serve people. Doesn't want to be nice to people. If I find then that Justin is the obstacle to our success, are you prepared to have the door hit him in the ass? No question. Before I get any angrier, I'm going to go to work. Bill really just wants his family to succeed, but mom is not making it happen. And her children, they're just protected by mommy. Hello. Justin, come on over. When I saw my grandfather and John walk in, I was like, oh, we're all about to get yelled at. You know why I'm here, right, guys? I've been sitting with your grandfather talking, and every month he writes more checks, more checks. These checks are no longer business checks to him anymore. They've become charity. And he said to me, if this place does not turn around, he's closing in three months. He's incredibly disappointed with each one of you. Now, I want to show you video. Like, I dread coming to work. I'm so happy when I leave. It's the happiest part of my day is leaving work. <laughs> What's going on, man? I have no comment. It pisses me off because it's bull. I'm so tired for that. 
Justin's a huge asset. He's got so much charisma. Um, I think your mother is wrong. You were saying that you don't want to work here and you can't wait to get home, and it bothers me. I think it's terrible. Oh, God. Justin, I don't think he's working as hard as he, he can. A few days ago, I had a company come in here called eConnect. It's a video system that taps into the cash register, and it shows everything that every person does in this room. And when I looked at the tapes, I saw one of two things. I either saw them stealing. You know what? Or I saw such a lack of accounting controls. Ridiculous. That it's disrespectful to you. I don't steal. I don't, really? I hope you're not in talking about me right years, now. I'll talk about whoever the hell I want to talk about. And if you don't like it, just sit there and be quiet or leave. Stupid. I have never stolen anything. Watch this, Justin. He goes up to the cash register, rings up no sale, puts money in a drawer, counts out change, takes change out, gives it to the customers, and any money that they put in the drawer that they didn't ring winds up in their pocket. That's the way bartenders steal. Now, this is the most blatant bartender theft I have ever seen. Your daughter. You can talk and talk and talk. I don't steal. I got it on video. Really? Watch this. Drawer opens, no sale, money right in their pocket, and walk away. Either you guys know exactly what you're doing and you're stealing, or you're so ignorant that you have no systems to protect his money. That is bold. Failing because I put my tips in the drawer? You run no sale. And then at the end I of the night, no I have a videotape of him all of counting my money out in the drawer. the $300 and putting it in his pocket. Don't bull me. I put all of my tips in the drawer. We all put I put all of our no tips sale. In the drawer. I know you guys and don't steal. We don't steal. I keep everything in my drawer. I've been doing this a long time. I have never seen tips kept in the cash drawer with the bar's money. So there's no accountability. They ring no sale, they put tip money in. They take tip money out, they put bar money in. They take bar money out. They put the bar money on the tip table, the tip goes in the bar. This is unbelievable. If you don't know what the dollar should be, how the hell can you figure out if they're there? I have never seen a tip cup in a cash register. And here's the reason why. Here's the way bartenders steal. Let's say I sell you $20 worth of drinks. You give me $20, I go to the register, I get no sale, put the 20 in the drawer, the drawer now owes me $20, doesn't it? Now there's money in the drawer that's unaccounted for. At the end of the night, they take that money out and put it in their pocket. That's why a no sale ring is a red flag. So, in my business, there's three things you're not allowed to do. Somebody asks for change and you have to do a no sale ring, then you do it. But in a normal bar, never do you see more than one or two no sale rings a night, because there's no reason for it. Two. Never is the drawer kept open. It has to be closed between every transaction, so you gotta hit a number to open it again, right? Three, there can never be a tip cup to cash register transaction. It's the ultimate, single most frequent way that bartenders steal. This family has no accounting systems. When I see what's going on here with the co-mingling between tips and cash register funds, it's either theft are incredibly foolish. I don't think the family's stealing, which means it's foolish. You guys own this place. You're the examples in this place. There's no controls here. Now, that means there's a free-for-all for other people without you guys knowing. I can't implement anything because they don't listen anyway, so. Almost everybody who works here is connected to the family somehow. There's Pops, he's our manager. He's the only one in the whole family that actually has experience. There's Mike, he's the co-owner. Mm -hmm. It's my turn. And there's Diane, she's Mike's sister, and she's a co-owner. <laughs> That's Connie, Robert's sister. She's a security guard. That's the security, that's who's gonna take care of the bar? This is a joke, guys. And there's Zussie. She's actually the only non-miller. And she's been there 14 years. You want a cherry in it? No, Zussie's actually really engaging with her guests. Yes, she's a pretty good bartender. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, look at this burger. He's putting a frozen patty on the grill. 
that burger's not sizzling at all. No, it's like there's no temperature. He doesn't know what he's doing. No, he doesn't. No. Yes. Ah, ah, look at this guy. What is he doing? <laughs> if he was in your bar, Phil, would you be watching him like a hawk? I didn't make sure my security was watching him like a hawk. Yeah, Connie's gonna shut him down nicely, don't you think? <laughs> What is he doing? Oh! Pull his pants down. Bill, 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 why do you wipe Where's Connie? Him? She should throw him out. Bill, why do you wipe like when you disrespect? You're disrespecting me! He doesn't mess around, huh? He, no. He knows. It's offensive. Get the out of here! Dad! I'm Dad. Dad. No! Seriously. It's, 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 it's Who? What are you talking about? Dad, they're just having fun. This is unbelievable, man. That guy pulls his out, and they're not doing anything about it. And Pops knows how to solve the problems. They won't let him. It's your bone. How you doing? You all right? You know what? What do we need to $20 money shot. Uh-oh. Body shot time? Now the money's on the bar. Let's get busy. Let's have a good time. There's Christine. So Christine is a bartender and a cousin. If this is what you have to do in a bar to make money, then you have a lousy bar. It's offensive to other women and people that come there. I think a guy should do a body shot. This place is a free-for-all. I said, why do girls always have to do the body shot? Don't do it. Yeah. I'll 86 okay, the next don't get mad at that. You can see the father's frustration. Oh, yeah. He wants to fix things and make it better. The kids aren't doing it. It's like reading underwater, but they won't drink. Christy, look at me. Christy, go home. What the f If I have to say it again, you get the hell out of here. There it is, in the middle of the bar. She's doing the shot, but he could have pulled her aside. So Mike just sat there and watched that whole thing go down. He didn't even step up and do anything. Diane, get her out of here. Pops, come on. Really the Guys, I got to get in there before this family kills each other. I'm tired of this I'm done. This is out of control. I'm done. Pops. Oh, what the I'm John Taffer. I've been watching this for the past hour. What the hell is going on in here? Yeah, you know, John, you got me. I don't want our bartenders to get on the bar taking off your shirt. And you don't do that. You're exactly right. And I was just embarrassed by my kids in there because I told them to get Christina out of there. And they didn't. And they didn't. Let's go inside together. Come on. Let's get your kids together. Let's all talk. Where are they? Mike, Diane. And you need to get that bit out of here, too. Yeah. You say across the room, bitch. Is You're that right. the professional you want to be? It's not. You I got something to say. You're absolutely John, right. Don't yell at my dad. I'm that's talking my dad. to your father, that's right? My, that's right. my dad. Diane, are we good? You're absolutely that's right, and we're good. We're fine. The problem is the three of you. What's going on here, Mike? Say something. Here's what happens. I fight with her because half the people here don't belong here. She can't fire nobody. We've been telling her, so-and-so needs to go. You Why see can't she? He told her 25. No, they're trying something. to fire people that they haven't trained or they haven't told them what the rule is. Their rules are different. Every other week. How does it change every other week? A no How does it change every other week? Tell me. It's like a soap opera. I got one extreme, the other extreme. I rather. Who doesn't belong here? Say it. Say it, Mike. It's not fair for Mike to single people out, Dad. Robert. What the Really? You need to go over there. Robert, take your shit out. 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 Robert, Stop it. You know why you're failing? Why? Because of you. If she keeps making these decisions, what happens, Mike? 
We got to get rid of people. That they have to go. I don't kick people when they're down. I don't look at somebody and go, "You're f up." I'm gonna kick you. I don't do that. But if I go to do it, you tell me I can't do it because so and so you grew up with this, that, the other. But that doesn't help the business. My sister's relationship with everybody here is so strong to where it's actually detrimental to the business. She wants to give everybody a second, third, fourth, tenth chance so nothing gets accomplished. You enable him to f up. Here. What the f you do? I might miss two or three things. You're not here to see the I am. You're not taking care of it. That's your job. He's full of He's full of I'm not saying that Robert is the best employee, but Robert's the employee that helps me. But he's not your, he's a tailgate employee, not a Diane yeah, employee. When, yeah, we need Mike, Robert that Mike, we can't afford a plumber, so we call Robert. Kitchen. Because right nothing the line is that Robert is a problem, Diane. He doesn't follow through with nothing. You're hurting yourself and the family. You're tearing my heart out, man. Right now, everybody's pointing their fingers. The fact of the matter is, the three of you aren't communicating and the two of you have no spines. It's time to take accountability. Make some management moves tonight and talk together. Act like business owners. Come on. This family is screaming and yelling at each other. I'm gonna leave them to talk tonight. They need to come up with an understanding themselves so I can get to work tomorrow. So tell me about your dad and your uncle. They kind of bought the bar and went in together. So has Randy always been the manager? Yes, because my dad has a second job. Gotcha, and how often does your dad work? He bartends on Friday and Saturday. How do they get along? They don't talk right now. They don't talk at all. At all. Randy blames the customers leaving because of my dad. It doesn't add up. My dad's here two days and he's here every day. Interesting that you should mention that. Do you know that 60% of family businesses that fail do so because of family issues? It bleeds in every aspect of the family. So you took a little video for me. Yeah, I did. They bicker back and forth. I mean, they'll talk on each other. Here's what you tell. They're going to take me to work. I was trying to get a credit card paid big time. I don't need him back here with me. So are they more interested in hurting yeah. each other than making money? It seems as if they are. You guys should get away. Oh, you, you, you guys should get away. That's what I'm saying, you guys can get along. He's run off all the business. He thinks it's a big joke. He's worthless. As far as selling, because the brothers have a lot of issues. I'm through talking to him. Well, I ain't talked to him in nine months. I imagine how you go to work with this animosity every day. That's awful. Here's what I did for tonight's recon. I really wanted to get somebody from the independence area. So I got Rachel, and let's see what we got. Hey, uh, Fine, how are you? Yeah, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. How are you doing? I'm good. Here we are. Here we are. She's already been sitting there for a minute. Yeah, you come here a lot? Not even acknowledging her at all. It's crazy that why have you become such a Shut up. Like, we don't need to hear all that stuff. You're a piece of Okay. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, look at this. So they're too busy fighting with each other to even notice the unserved customer. How long it takes to get a drink? Erica. Erica? Is that her name? Erica, can I get a drink? Sure, honey. Look at this. Rachel has to call Erica over just to get acknowledged. Can I get a fruity drink? What's in that? Vodka, <laughs> red stuff, soda water. And I think a lime. So oh, that's scary, huh? Taste it. It's not good. We'll start with something different. She's not sure she made it right herself. It's kind of really, really sweet. Is it too sweet? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to try a beer. There you go, honey. Uh-huh. Mm. It's not cold. OK, she's got a warm beer. What do you think's wrong with the bar? It's the fighting between Rick and Randy. Even if they're not here together, it's it's just negative all around. It's, it's a trickle-down theory. You sit in your car and you think, here we go again, I don't want to walk in there. Wow, it's that bad. It brings a negative vibe into the building. Totally. Walt, how long have you worked here? 18 years. You feel that vibe when you're working? No doubt. There's some outer line of stuff going on between them that they need to sit down and work out. Morale is low and the staff is complacent, and it's all because of the rift between these brothers. Here, Rick, Randy, I want to talk for a few minutes. I want to sit them down separately and see what this animosity is all about. Talk to me about the beginning. How did this all start? Rick is just bitter. He's just grumpy. He's always been the angry one. He's been like this his whole life. I'm not in a bad mood. I'm tired of being jabbed at pretty soon. I'm jabbed back. You know? So when people say I'm Rick the Dick, it's because he's jabbing me. Where I'm in the corner, I gotta fight back. And then all of a sudden, I'm the ass. I'm not an angry person. I'm a hurt person. 
my Rick? Oh, the inheritance. An inheritance? What do you mean? He inherited everything. I got a Lincoln Town car. My mom passed away three years ago, and then my stepdad just passed away, and they left me with everything. I was my mom's favorite, I'm gonna tell you. My real dad raised him, my stepdad, and my mom raised me. My mom and Rick didn't even get along. He never even had a nice word to say to her. So you got more of the inheritance? That's why they wrote it. Does he feel he was ripped off? I don't know why he feels. See, I don't believe my parents wanted it that way. He sat there yesterday and told me my mother hated my guts. And then, and then, and then, and then she wanted him to have everything. They yeah, I broke my heart. Rick's always been jealous of me. I don't care what he says. But I'm not jealous of him. You know I got to get you guys back together again somehow. How do we make this work? That's going to be a tough one. You might be able to rescue a bar, but I'm not sure you can rescue that. Hey, guys. Morning, Morning John. The one single thing that I have to do now to rescue this bar is to pull these brothers together. There has to be a solution to the problems. There's a lot of hard things said, though, John. There's a time to say enough is enough. 60% of all family businesses that fail break down because of family relationship issues. I don't want you to be that statistic. I got a secret to tell you. You introduced me to Tyler last night. I've been working with Tyler for two weeks. He's my mall. I had no idea Tyler was anything involved in this. Him and I gotta have a talk when we get home. He reached out to me. He's told me everything wrong with this place. He even shot videos for me. I want you to speak about how much their negativism towards each other has affected the family. Everybody's sick of it. You know, we don't want to see you guys fight. I can't pick a side because I love you both. Mimi and Papa would want us together like we used to. Every holiday, that's how it was. They brought us together. They didn't want you guys to fight over inheritance, fight over the bar. They didn't want any of that. They want you guys to love each other, period. He knows I love him. I'm willing not to say any more bad stuff about him. Are you ready to say that? Yes, sir. You have to come in here and never say a bad word about your brother, and you too. Let's get this thing going. Hi, man. Sorry, I love you. This is amazing. I can't believe you did this. I think we've both done a lot of soul searching. I just think it's time to put it all in the past and let's move on and see what we can do. The future's bright for our family. We're back together and we're gonna work as a team. I feel like a ton of bricks have been lifted off my shoulders. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.